little follow-up on my uh, video about the octagon yesterday. Uh, here's the reverse cover, if you can see it. Um, I made a couple mistakes. This is what happens when you don't when you when, when you don't go back and, and double check your research. Um, I said Four's Vengeance was the next film after this one. Uh, actually, the next film was uh, Eye for an Eye with Christopher Lee and Professor Tanaka, and the next film after that was Silent Rage, and then the next film was Forced Vengeance, uh, and then after that was Lone Wolf McQuaid. Chuck Norris's career was kind of an oddball one because Breaker Breaker, uh, Good Guys Wear Black, A Force of One were all big box office hits and they were all released by tiny distribution companies because nobody had any any faith that these movies would make any money. The Octagon was a studio release and it did quite well. The next film, uh, uh, Eye for an Eye, well... They spent quite a bit of money on it, about $4 million. It did about 12 at the box office. That's not a bad figure, but it's concerning. And Silent Rage, uh, trying to cash in on martial arts and the slasher films, did about $10 million at the box office. That's a concerning figure. I think that movie was probably a $5 million film. Um, Forced Vengeance, then $5 million bucks spent, pulled in $6 million. That's kind of a warning sign. Lone Wolf McQuaid actually did did pretty good. That actually um, was a big hit. And then Norris then went to Cannon. And when he went to Cannon, he had several hits in a row. Uh, Missing in Action, Missing in Action 2, um, Code of Silence, and um, oh my, what was the other one? Um, Invasion USA. Uh, and there was a sequel plan for Invasion USA, but it never came out. Um, Norris did very well with the indie uh, companies, indie distribution producers and distribution companies. He did very well with Canon. Uh, Canon, you could call that like an, an elevated indie. They they were doing huge money, but they were not they were not studio. Um, Norris's tenure with studios like MGM and and uh, I believe Columbia did, did the Octagon. Let me double check. Did the Columbia do that? Uh, no, that was MGM. Um, some people are just not a fit for the studios, and that that's uh, why his career was kind of not crashing, but you could see that it the rise from the indie box office receipts down to a decline with the studio and then right back up again once he once he went back to a more uh, personable, so to speak, company, a smaller company like uh, Canon. Canon. Canon was a two-person operation. It was Golan Globus. They were running the show. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, corporate. So he was a better fit there.